guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to a different kind of video. So today we're playing some Star Chef 2, and I want to give a big thank you to Star Chef 2 for sponsoring this video. And guys, I've been loving this game, so we're going to get into it. I have started a new game on my iPad. I usually play on my phone. I did show you this game in the beginning of one of my Sims videos recently, and you guys could see I was on level 12, and just, it's so cute, and you unlock more recipes and stuff at that point. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys how the game starts off from the beginning. So let's just go ahead and get on into this. So when you start up the game, there's just a couple like little scenery clips. It kind of lets you know that you're going to be running a restaurant and then you're greeted with Nicole and it says, hi, I'm Nicole. It's nice to finally meet you. This used to be the finest diner in town with you in charge. I'm sure we can rebuild and grow the business. Before we begin, let's hand over the restaurant to you. So the restaurant just starts off a whole mess and you got to fix it up. So then you can go ahead and just put in how you're going to, how, how they're going to address you so you can just put your name your username whatever you want to do then you can go ahead and pick a cute little photo we're just gonna go ahead and do this one here okay and then let's continue Alrighty. so they just put a little stamp you just hit accept and then you start into kind of like the tutorial mode so it says awesome we're now open for business a chef fantasia <laughs> so here's what you start off with it starts with a couple different well it starts off with one food station and you do get to add more so it says great a storage room soup station table and dishwasher ready for use. Hmm, this restaurant sure looks messy. How about we get an expert's help? So this dude is going to come and clean. Hey fellas, cleaning guy Ted at your service. Awesome. Now that Ted's here, let's make everything spotless. So he's just going to clean up, which is great. <laughs> we love that. All right. Whoa, super clean. Not a speck of dirt around. Hmm, now the walls don't match the floor. So basically adding walls and everything like that is so easy. I love it. So let's go ahead and add some color. So you have to tap and hold the wall. Um, I like that they just make it really easy, you know? All right, so got it. So you just go ahead and drag, literally just drag it and then just go, just, just go around. You just have to hover over it and it'll automatically just paint it. So we're just gonna do there for right now. Nice work, we're all set to get this place going. So we have our first customers. Awesome, our first customers are already here. Let's see what they ordered. So they want the creamy lettuce soup. So you can go ahead and just get that going over here at the soup station. So you will unlock more foods at the soup station, but you start off with just the creamy lettuce soup. And at first it does tell you to just go ahead and do it right away for free. But afterwards you're going to be having to like use diamonds for that, or you can just wait the time, which is not very long anyways. So great job, a delicious bowl of lettuce soup. The customers will surely love this. French or classic French cuisine. Okay. So then you just go ahead and drag it there when it's ready, which is perfect. They left the soup. Now collect your earnings. Yay. Ooh, we unlocked some nifty items. So now we're level two. Love that. Look, we now have customers tap to view their order. So they want some, oh, they want something else. So they want the, one of the best barbecue dishes. So we're going to have to go ahead and get a barbecue grill. So then you can go ahead and like choose where you're going to place things. So again, you can just drag. And I mean, at first it's kind of hard um, because I mean, your restaurant is very small. So don't really worry too much about where you place things because you can expand. Um, so it's not the biggest deal. So we're just going to put it here. Um, eventually I'll probably like shift everything but when you first start out it's totally okay and then let's go ahead and just get that open awesome with the new barbecue place let's meet chef derek who's quite famous for his barbecue recipes hey chefs it's a lovely day for some chicken shash shashlik isn't it i think that's how you say that i don't know did you know shashlik comes from the turk word i can't read these words you guys which literally means oh Okay, because to me, I was just like, oh, it's like a skewer. Well, let's fire up the barbecue and start grilling. Like, it's like, it lo looks like shish kebabs. Um, tap uh, the barbecue grill. So then you just have to tap it. And then, so we actually need chicken. So basically, you're going to tap it. And then you have to go to the supermarket and you just go ahead and buy your chicken. I love it. <laughs> I love the way the supermarket works. And then you'll have your items and you'll be able to go ahead and make what you need. So we made our grilled chicken. 
and here we go let's go ahead and give it to them all right so there we go that we got our money from them we're at level three yay okay a great place like this needs a special name too isn't it so let's name our restaurant so whenever i name things i don't know why uh i always do something to do with utopia <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do it kind of started with animal crossing for me i started doing this utopia thing and now every single time I just name everything Utopia. So Utopia restaurant. Uh, we could have done Utopia something, but this is fine. Utopia has a nice ring to it. It'll sure attract a lot of customers and get our journey going. Since every journey needs a guide, I have just the right one for you. So let's go ahead and look at these. So basically you're going to have like things you need to complete. So serve creamy lettuce soup. And then once you do that, you will, you know, you'll get things for it. So yeah. Um, so now it's actually showing our level and everything. As you guys can see at the top of the screen, it's showing that we're a trainee. We're level three. We have 600 coins and then we got 15 bucks. And yeah, so it just shows everything at the top. Now, once you play for a little bit, once you get to level three, it'll show you and then you'll see like all the XP you're earning and it, it'll fill up and everything like that. So now that we made the cream lettuce soup you can go ahead and claim that and we also got to serve some grilled chicken so let's go ahead and do that we already got that going so that's perfect um perfect there we go you finished your very first quest collect your rewards and claim the mystery box so let's collect these then you're gonna unlock a mystery box which will happen pretty often and you'll get things from there and now we're level four already it does get harder um of course like most games the beginning is the easiest oh we got a phone call let's tap <laughs> hello thanks for calling utopia how how may I help you? Uh, is that you, Nicole? I'm Matt. I hope you remember me. What a pleasant surprise, Matt. How are things at your restaurant? Oh, it's all fine. I hear Utopia is quickly becoming famous. <laughs> oh, thanks, Matt. All the credits go to Fantasia, our new chef in charge. Nice to hear that. Why don't you guys visit my restaurant sometime and maybe we could catch up on things. So you can visit people's restaurants in this game and this is kind of showing you an example of that. So sure thing, Matt, we would love to. So let's visit an old friend and neighbor, tap on the chef's circle button. So um, it's gonna show your friends here. Now, obviously we just have Matt, but like, you know, you can add your friends on here. You can have your friends, you can play with your friends um, and then you can visit their restaurants. And I think that's so fun. I love when you can do that in games. So welcome to Matt's diner. Feel free to look around. Now guys, this just shows you what you can do with restaurants. Look at how beautiful, isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness. I just think it's so nice. It looks like such a fancy restaurant. It's like so expanded. Like look at all of this. It's kind of crazy. It's it's honestly like there's like a bunch of restaurants in one. So let's go ahead and go back home uh, or go to our restaurant, I should say. <laughs> okay, quite impressive, wasn't it? Visit restaurants like that of Matt to like, follow and help and make new friends. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do some more grilled chicken. Oh, we need to make some. Oh, wrong thing. You know what? Let's make this too. Let's just make some extra food. <laughs> there we go. So these are still free right now, but eventually they won't be. So it just starts off that way. So keep that in mind, but we're just going to go ahead and finish that up as well. And we're going to claim these. Okay. And we got some more quests complete. Awesome. Level five. All right. We unlocked more food. We unlocked some flooring and some decor. So, Ooh, and then this. So basically, so it says great. We can now serve tomato soup to our customers using fresh tomatoes from our own backyard. So there's some gardening in this game as well. Lucky for us, Hector, is there for all kinds of farm fresh ingredients so hola i'm hector your gardener so he's gonna do your gardening for you and you're gonna go ahead and it's just tapping and dragging once again which is super simple so there we go so we're gonna go ahead and just drag some tomatoes on all of these so they'll take a little bit but it doesn't take too long honestly um this it's extra fast right now it's usually not this quick but for the tutorial it is but either way it's really it really doesn't take that long so again you just drag over everything perfect so we're gonna claim these we got another one does anyone else love how games start off like everything's just so fast i don't know it's just fun it like really gets you into it you know it makes you want to play more so we're just going to complete that there we go perfect yay so let's go ahead and serve this to them awesome let's grab our money and let's go ahead and claim this and we need to do some creamy lettuce soup as well so let's just go ahead and get that ready 
So there we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and also make some of this cause why not? And then this can be finished right now. So there we go, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this as well. We'll make two of them. It's kind of nice sometimes to just have like food stocked up and ready, you know? And at the beginning it's all free. So it's like, why not? <laughs> so we're gonna claim these and ooh, awesome. All right, ooh, chapter complete, yay. So we got an achievement. Ooh, backyard greenhorn. Oh, apprentice. So you do have chapters here, which I think is really fun. Um, oh, and we're level six. Awesome. We unlocked some new tables, some more plants and stuff. Oh, and there's this thingy-mabob. So this is the statue of culinary fame. Tap on it to access it. So yeah. This is pretty cool as well. So we can go ahead and claim this and you're gonna get XP and everything. You're gonna get some cash. So we completed this one as well. And um, yeah, there's so many things you can complete. You guys, shopaholic and you just, it's never ending. Landlord, which is by three plots. So yeah, that's fun. So let's go ahead and open this up again. Okay, so we have to place a table in our restaurant. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and grab this one here so we can get some more seating. You know, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it over here. Um, so like I said, like you are gonna expand your restaurant. So it's really not a big deal how things are right away. Um, don't don't worry about it too much. And then let's claim that. And then we need to play some uh, decor. So I'm gonna get, these ones are new. These, ooh, ooh, there's really cute ones. I don't know which one I want. Uh, I'm gonna get this one. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. So again, like it doesn't, you know, you can just place these like by the table if you want it or like in the corner. I think for now, I'm just gonna put one like right here. You can do whatever you want, honestly. <laughs> so, okay, they want the tomato soup. So let's go ahead and grab that over here. And then there you go, their food's ready because we already made it ahead of time, which is perfect. Um, So now you also want tomato soup. Oh, we need some stuff. So if you go ahead and click on the cart and then just go over here, you can just click on what the, the, you know, food you want, which is already selected. And then you just go and click on these and you can get as many as you want. So obviously watch the top corner. Um, you guys can see like how much you have up there. All right, so, oh, we still need to place decor. Let's do it. Um, I kind of really want the pink tulips to be honest. Yeah, they're really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, I'm gonna put this one by the table. I mean, that could be nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll place it by the table there and I'm gonna put another one by this table. That looks nice. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, is that all we needed? Oh, uh, yes. There we go. Perfect. All right. We need to serve another tomato soup. Um, oh yeah. So we need to go ahead and make more cause we got the ingredients for it. So let's go ahead and make it twice actually. See now it's going to cost money and then you only have to wait a minute though. It's really not that bad. Um, honestly, cause some games, the wait time is like really long. You've collected enough stars at top on the star chest to claim exciting rewards. So down here, you're going to be able to collect things, which is super nice. Awesome. Collect these tools and use them to upgrade storage and expand restaurant plot. So, uh, keep serving tables and collect stars to fill up the star chest. Alrighty. So let's go ahead. Oh, you also want the soup. I'm going to go ahead and just skip these. So you just have to tap it to confirm. So we got our soup now. So let's go ahead and give them theirs and then also give her hers. Perfect. All right. So um, while we wait for them to finish up, we're going to quickly do our notification shout out. So this one goes to KB1073. And I had to pick this one because it was food related. So this is on another video on how I made you order some sushi. Love that. Hopefully this video uh, makes you order some more food. <laughs> because that, I mean, this, this game makes me crave food, seriously. But thank you so much for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shadow, all you gotta do is comment down below. So let's go ahead. Oh, we're level seven. Oh, we unlocked another new food. Yay. Awesome. Ooh, and then the chef store. Awesome. You unlocked the chef store, a quick way to earn coins. Tap the chef store and I'll show you how. So basically, okay, so you can like sell your stuff here. That's basically how this works. So now let's sell one of our dishes to earn some extra coins. So we have this now because we just unlocked it. And then you can go ahead and like select. You can also adjust the price and everything like that, which I think is pretty cool. Like if you want more from it, uh, you, you can. So that's nice. And then it'll just sit there. Great. Your dish is now on sale. You can collect your coins from here as soon as another chef buys it. Awesome. The food truck is here. We're in luck, Fantasia. Yay. The food truck is here. Fun. All right. So um, let's go ahead and continue that. 
I love how the food truck looks. It's so cute. Top of the food truck to find out what's in store. So here there's a bunch of stuff you can see from like different players. So basically it says, wow, fresh dishes available at discounted prices. Let's grab one Fantasia. So, um, we're going to go ahead and grab this. That, that, that's definitely a good deal. Yeah, let's get that. The food truck arrives from time to time. Keep checking back. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and give them their food. Um, and then let's claim both of these. Yay. We're making progress. This is going by quickly. Love that. Ooh, we have more to claim here. Fun. Okay. So now let's go ahead and collect that. And let's go over here. Oh, okay. We need to make their food. So let's go ahead and make one of these. And then let's make one of these. I might skip through that since I am filming a video for you guys. So I can just show you guys as much as I can. Also, there's this announcement page. You don't really have to do anything in here. But if you go to for you, sometimes there's stuff in here. So remember to do that. But as for the news, if you're interested, you can look through it. Um, let's go ahead and head into here. And we can actually place down another crop which is nice so there we go we can place down two of them right now so i may as well have him actually plant some stuff we'll do some onions because why not right so let's do that um and then let's head back over where am i going <laughs> all right so they actually want some food so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh speed through that same for this one um which i mean honestly you guys it's not that bad. So here's the cash, right? Of course you can purchase some. However, what I really like about this game, so some mobile games, you feel like you have to spend the money to keep playing, but this one is actually really great. I find that, like I said, I've been playing now and I feel like I've been fine. Like I still keep gaining cash without actually having to purchase it there. So like I'm gaining enough of them where you know, I just feel like I have enough and it's fine. So I like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into the chef store and we sold our items. So yay, that's awesome. And let's see. So, oh, you guys want some more of that soup? Uh, oh, we got to go shopping again. So let's grab some more groceries. We're going to get quite a few of this because it seems like a lot of people want that, you know, you can also come in and like buy anything. So if you want to buy some more stuff, go ahead, go ahead and do that. But just be careful because you might run into a problem where you run out of these um, with the little baskets uh, and then you bought too much of things that you don't need. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, oh, okay. So this is another thing that comes up. You were going to use your last crop. Do you still want to proceed? So you can or you can't. It's up to you. However, keep in mind, basically. So let's go ahead and head over here. And these are almost done. So we're gonna, I'm just going to wait the amount of seconds and then I'll be back. Oh, actually, might not need to cut out. We got more stuff happening. Ooh, love that. But yes, so once these are done, I'm going to collect them. And then I'm going to show you guys um so it's not that big of a deal when you're like low on your tomatoes and stuff like that um it's 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 fine there's also ways around it like sometimes people are like like here we go look they're selling tomatoes there's a way <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get these and then oh we're level eight yay level eight oh we unlocked the salad station um we unlocked this other cool dish which i thought looked delicious <laughs> and um potatoes we unlocked some new chairs Ooh, yay fun Ooh. Ooh, and now this is the VIP building. This VIP program, it shows you your current VIP levels. So yeah, basically you can go to the store and it just shows you, you know, what I already showed you. <laughs> okay, we have a little thing here, Utopia. This is Nicole, how may I help you? Hi, I'm Amy. I heard great things about your restaurant and I wanted to make a reservation to try out your salads. Well, thanks, Amy. Um, um, we don't serve salads quite yet, but we surely intend to real soon. Oh, that's okay. I'll be sure to drop by when it's available. Goodbye. All right. Fantasia, it looks like we need to grow our menu to include salads. Perfect time to install a salad station. It's available in the shop right now. Let's get it soon to impress our customers. So, um, basically you have your salad station here, which is fun. So, so again, there's not that much space as of now. So I'm just going to place this over here. Um, oh, we actually don't have enough coins right now. We need to save that up. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and wait and we will be able to get that very soon. So let's go ahead and complete some stuff so that we can get on that. Place a solid station is something we do need to do. So we need to like get on our money, you guys. So let's get on it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just make some uh, foods and stuff like that. Um, they want the tomato salad and they also want that one. So let's make two of those and we can go ahead and spend these right now 
just so we can get ahead of the game. <laughs> so let's do that because we need ourselves a salad station. It doesn't take too long to make money in this game. Exciting rewards await you in the chef journal. Yay. So let's go ahead and claim this. Oh, there we go. We already got some more money right now. Okay. We got another hundred. We're getting close. We are getting there. Yay. All right. And then we got another chef. So let's, or another chef, another chest. <laughs> so let's go ahead and claim that. Perfect. And we can also, oh, okay. So they want us to get another table. It's not that expensive to get another table. So honestly, we could do it. It's yeah, we'll get more customers that way. So yeah, we'll do that. Hopefully we'll save up enough money faster for the salad station. All right, so you want both soups. So let's go ahead and make both of them. Perfect. Um, okay, so here's that example again that I was trying to tell you guys. Are you, so you're using like your last ones. So we're gonna do it. And basically when that happens, so then when you come over here, the lettuce is gonna say zero and basically you're not gonna be able to plant one right now unless you spend. Um, so I'm just letting you guys know that. So you, in case you run into that issue, but it's not that big of a deal because you can get more lettuce from the food truck and stuff like that. So there there's ways around it. It just makes it a little more challenging, which I kind of like, but if you do have even just one, uh, cash, you can go ahead and plant one and then you'll go ahead and have some again. And yeah, that kind of works out. So we're going to go ahead and plant these tomatoes. And we'll plant like a potato over here because why not? Here's another thing where you don't have enough ingredients, but you do have the option to use cash. So I like that because you can either, you know, work to get the stuff yourself, or if you do have the cash in your game, you can go ahead and just do that as well. It's kind of just up to the player. So I like that, but these are already done, which is super nice. I love how fast it is. So now you're going to have a couple more lettuces. So, you know, then you're fine. It's just, it's difficult when you're down to one, but if you keep planting them, you'll be okay um because you'll you'll get more you know so that's always nice um we're gonna go ahead and actually plant another potato and then another tomato so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna have to wait okay so these customers you can see they want a recipe we already have but then it also says cook a new recipe so that's an option that sometimes happens okay we're level nine we unlocked another recipe which is fun oh okay so this is an old save he left it here right after he decided to sell this place i've always wondered what's in it let's open it and find out Okay. So now it looks like a letter in some kind of book. Let's read it out. All right. So it just says, dear chef, being the former owner of Grand Sevier, I wanted to send my hearty congratulations to you for taking it over. Ever since I started my culinary journey, cooking has been my life. I would like to share something with you, which has always helped me become a better chef down the years. Send, send my regards to Nicole. Happy cooking. Wow, never thought Mr. Severe was such a writer, but that's something he wants to share. Okay, so this is his famed trivia book, the one book to cook them all. I can't wait to dig into it. So this is actually fun. I like this a lot, but again, this is gonna make you want food, you guys. So it says discover more about all the dishes. So basically you can learn about all of this, even down to like the nutrition facts, which I think is so fun. Like honestly, this game could be kind of inspiring to like make new recipes you guys because you could see something and you're like wow what is that you know and like it makes you want to make it or maybe you haven't made a deviled egg salad in a long time and this inspires you to want to make it i don't know i think it's fun and like it just tells you like the vitamins that these things have and everything like i just think it's so cool and like i like the whole realistic aspect here and yeah like it just shows you everything which i just think is fun i don't know is that weird i think it's fun we need to sell items in the chef store. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's sell, I mean, we don't have that much right now. I'm going to up the price of this. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Oh my gosh. I wonder if anyone will buy it. Oh my. Ooh. Okay. We got this achievement. Yay. So that gives us some XP and we got this one here. Exciting. All right. So we got that. We are getting closer to level 10. Oh, we got our chest. Yay. Let's open it. Awesome. Yay. Okay. So this is ready. And then, okay. See, they both want new recipes. Um, so we're going to have to wait that out. I also don't know, like this is a new recipe. So this one's probably going to work, but we're going to have to wait a few minutes. Okay. So you can expand your restaurant, which we're not going to do right now, of course, because we are, um, trying to get some more stuff at the restaurant, but you can expand it and it's 2000. So it's not too bad. Like it's, if we weren't saving up for the salad station, I would totally go ahead and get that. You guys, we have enough. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this salad station. 
Perfect. Oh, level 10. Okay, we unlocked level 10 at the same time. Oh, we unlocked another food station. Unlock some more salad. We unlock some new tables and everything like that. Um, so Fantasia, we unlocked Chef Masters, and with that, our journey to culinary glory has taken a competitive turn. Oh my god, Chef Matt is here to tell us about it. Hello chefs, welcome to Chef Masters, an elite cook off competition, where chefs from all around the world participate and put their culinary skills to the ultimate test. Wow, that sounds incredible. I'm sure we'll have a good time. So this is fun. Top on, top on the Chef Masters building. So basically you're going to be able to challenge. So this is where like, it, it, this is fun. I was like, oh my gosh, when I did this the first time, um, I was like, oh my God, wait, I love that. Look at this. Okay. So there's literally like, we got fraps, you guys which love, like I was just excited just for that. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so basically you have to serve customers. Let me show you how. So he's gonna show you, it's super simple though, you guys. The, the customers, it looks so cool. Okay, so she wants that. So basically you're just gonna go ahead and click on it. You just click and look how yummy that looks. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. And then you just go ahead and drag it to her. Sorry if this is like making you guys want iced coffee and everything. <laughs> But yeah, the customers just tell you what they want and basically you need to be quick So we need to get a bowl here and then obviously we need to get the lettuce Then you let the lettuce cook and then once it's done, you got to make sure you get it off Don't let it burn drag it over and then just drag it to the customer Perfect. So you have to do this quickly because you're trying to serve more people than the person you are you are against So that's what you're gonna have to try to do. So we need a plate. There we go And then we need to cook our skewers and wait till that's done and then we need some french fries so let's drag that over and then some french fries and let's just give it to him great work fantasia we're done with the basics but a few things to note keep track of your opponent's score from over here okay perfect and then the faster you serve a customer the more points you will earn so you have to be fast you guys you gotta be fast which i used to play games that were just like this all the time okay let's go let's go let's go let's go you can do like a bunch of things at once which is nice so there we go that's finished um and then this is done perfect and this is done and then this is done and let's give you that and let's give you that okay you want iced coffee or it's a frap <laughs> so let's give her uh when the time starts going it makes me anxious i don't know why but it does <laughs> like it just does i don't know um and then if it finishes when you're still serving you just have to stop it's just done time's up um okay so we won by like a landslide like for real. <laughs> Excellent. Our first victory got us some chef medals. Okay, cool. Great. Let's see what they do. Awesome. I love that part of the game. I think it's so much fun. Um, that's the bronze chef box. We just won. It looks special. Let's open it. Okay, so let's open this up. Ooh, we won some dish cards from chef box. They'll help me become a master of dishes. Cool. Thankfully, chef Matt has already told me how, so let's get started. All right. Tap here to open the dish mastery menu. You can master your dishes from here and earn extra benefits in your restaurant and also in Chef Masters. So let's master the French onion soup and then upgrade free. Here you can check all the cool benefits of dish mastery. Okay, master. Awesome. Okay, so we unlocked an achievement. Great work. We can now earn bonus rewards every single time we serve the French onion soup. Love that for us. <laughs> That's all for now. Keep collecting dish cards to master your dishes and take your culinary skills to the next level. Perfect. So we got another full chest. So let's go ahead and open that up. We also got barbecue sauce here and it tells you a little bit about it, of course. And then the French onion soup. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. We got even more money now. Oh my gosh. See, see how fun. All right. So we still need, so there's a sauce station, but we still need our salad station. So let's go ahead and grab that. Perfect. And then you're going to have to wait a little bit, but now we, I think we've completed a couple other things. Actually, maybe not. Okay. Um, so you want the skewers also, it doesn't cost that much to get the sauce station. So we'll probably grab that soon. Um, we could also speed that up if we wanted. We'd have, we would have no bucks left right now, but I kind of want to do it. Okay. A salad is on a meal. It is a style. Well said, Ming. Welcome to Utopia. We've been waiting for a salad chef. Okay. Best in health, best in taste. Ming salad is joy on a plate. 
love it so now um we need to get some eggs and stuff like that so let's go ahead and make our way over to the grocery store and let's get a whole bunch of stuff for deviled egg salad the picture of that looks delicious <laughs> so let's go ahead and make some all right we're gonna make these twice so those take five minutes the wait times in this game really isn't that bad and i honestly really appreciate it okay um so we can claim this one as well perfect oh we also sold this someone bought it yay <laughs> didn't think they would but they did um we can also claim this perfect and we can claim this one see you get bucks from all of these and so it just ends up like adding up the more you play, you know, like, yeah, it may not seem like we just got a lot, but like we've just started. All right. So we're going to make the French onion soup for the first time for sure. And I'm going to go ahead and just speed this one up and speed this one up. <laughs> we're just going to do that. Okay. So now, okay. So new dish and you, yep. Yep. And then they wanted a new recipe. So we're going to go ahead and give that to them. See, now they also want that. So that's what we're gonna be giving them. So let's go ahead and claim that. And then we're gonna make more of this. So, oh, we need more stuff for it. So let's go ahead and grab that at the grocery store. I love how like fast this game is. Like, you know, even when you get more into the levels, like it's just nice, you know? We're getting a whole bunch of stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know we need it oh it's full okay there we go so we got a whole bunch of stuff for our food all right so they want us to get another table and yeah let's do it so we can have more customers right so yeah we'll stick it right here perfect okay so now more people can come and sit the more tables the better all right the deviled egg salad is ready and then of course you can go to your trivia read everything about it every time there's a new recipe so they've been here for a while we're gonna give it to them for sure um and then we'll go ahead and make some more all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this sauce station because why not we have enough for it so um i don't know if this is gonna really fit anywhere <laughs> we need to expand should we expand first maybe we could possibly do that um i think we may be a little short after expanding um but i think we're gonna expand yeah i'm gonna expand right here okay this actually is gonna take a little bit so we may be still placing the food station or the sauce station somewhere different but we don't have enough now um so we will get on that sauce station um but until then let's go ahead and get this Ooh, we've reached level 11 oh we unlocked another recipe that also looks like another egg recipe oh we unlocked two yay all right oh and now there's this thing okay looks like our customers have something to say so this is fun i like this part so tap here to find out and basically you can just see how your customers feeling so you can like collect happiness so you get happiness points and i think it's so cute let's find out what happiness points do so let's go ahead and click on that okay so happiness meter happiness points fill up the happiness meter and help in goodie generation isn't that cute we'll be earning 50 percent more goodies that'll help us get more ingredients for cooking yay okay um to collect more points keep looking for them near tables okay so perfect uh and happiness points will get you more goodies we got a full chest so let's open this up we have so much stuff happening now <laughs> so let's go ahead and claim this perfect and let's collect this happiness and this happiness and then oh we got more stuff going on here let's claim this so we also have enough for the sauce now so let's go ahead and grab it we're just gonna stick it right there that's kind of the only place we can put it right now and we're i'm just waiting for more food to be done making okay so this is what we got it's egg mimosa it looks similar to deviled eggs but i guess it's a little bit different yeah there's that and then we have our buffalo chicken wings okay so our sauce station is open so we need to go and buy stuff for it we actually don't have tomatoes which sucks but we're gonna get quite a few of those and then when does this food truck come again um not for another six minutes but um we do have one buck left we could just use it because we need a tomato all right so we need a tomato to make some barbecue sauce and um okay so this soup is making okay perfect there we go and then another one is cooking up right here and we're gonna need more stuff again so we're almost at level 12 and this is when it starts to get like a little more challenging the levels definitely aren't as fast but i personally like that because you know the like every game should get harder like you know if we just fly through it i feel like we'll get bored of it pretty quickly it's more fun when you have to like work towards it in my opinion anyways so um we're waiting for that tomato soup and then 
you guys well, everyone wants like a bunch of different things so the this is cooking right now oh we're gonna need more so let's go ahead and buy some stuff there we go our storage is literally so full <laughs> You can upgrade that, but we're not going to do that right now. All right, so we got some more meals done. Let's make another one of those. Um, so you... Okay, those are cooking. Perfect. Um, we don't want that. Uh, we can make another one of these. Sure. Um, okay, so they're done. Yay. All right. So, oh, we're at level 12. Oh, now we unlocked another item. And we unlocked some more tables. We unlocked another recipe. So, we got, we unlocked the blender. So, we can get this from the shop. So, let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, actually, I don't know if we have enough money for it. It costs 3000 you guys. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to place that. But I really want to. <laughs> so, oh, dough. Okay. So we got dough, um, and then we got these barbecue chicken roll-ups. Looks delicious. Yeah, you do unlock the blender at level 12, and then you're going to unlock the beverage station at level 13. Then level 17, you unlock the wood fire oven. Then a burger station at level 22, a fryer at level 26, pasta and noodle maker at level 27, a food cutter at 29, dessert station at 32, dim sum station at 36, Tortilla press at 39, a spice grinder at 41, Mexican station at 42, a no noodle station at 48, Spanish station at 52, juice and shaker at 56, fusion station at 60, Middle Eastern stand at 64. Guys, there's so much stuff. Thai station at 68. There's so much to look forward to in this game. Ice cream stand at level 72, a candy maker, candy maker, you guys, candy maker at 76, then cookie maker at 80, food processor at 83. I can't stop looking at this. Oh my god, they eat. Look at this. They're including everyone. Pasta station at 86 and then vegan station at at 89 so your restaurant can have vegan options which that that's always needs to be a thing cake station at 92 african station at 96 indian station 99 donut maker at 103 sushi bar there was a comment about sushi for the comment of the day uh-huh there's your sushi pickle stand at 108 hawaiian station at 111 guys it goes on oh, oh we're at the end <laughs> scandinavian station at 114 and then korean station at 118 you guys wow that is crazy so that's super freaking exciting um like i'm just i'm addicted <laughs> i need to go and play this game like all night now i've got it going on my phone which is the one i already had and then now here on my ipad so now i'm like i could play both <laughs> which is nice okay we almost are done with that um but you need well i don't even know if we can make this right now i feel like we're coming to a point where I'm gonna have to wrap up this video uh, because it's at that time where, you know, things take a little bit longer, which is okay. But yeah, so this has been fun. I am gonna be saving up for that blender, which is gonna be super fun. And yeah, so this was a super fun video. I wanna give another huge thank you to StarShift2 for sponsoring this video. This was just so much fun. So guys, I'm gonna have a link down below where you can download this game. So definitely go and check it out. Before we wrap it up, we gotta open this last chest. I'm gonna probably go play this game all night. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little playthrough of Chef Star 2. Hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. It is freaking adorable, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys also so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Honestly, I'm open wide. i don't feel like waking up without you by my side i still see your silhouette why don't we go back to why don't we go back to your bedroom